Venezuela's election authority has said that incumbent President Nicolas Maduro has won a third term with 51% of the vote. This despite multiple exit polls pointing to an opposition win. As for the election authority, Maduro's challenger Edmundo Gonzalez has been limited to 44% of the vote, but the opposition has rejected Maduro's victory claim, saying they have won with 70% of the vote. Al 80% de transmisión cumplimos con emitir el primer boletín que marca una tendencia contundente e irreversible. Con el 80% de las mesas escrutadas y con un nivel de participación electoral del 59%, Los resultados son lo siguiente. Primero. The electoral body added that results have been delayed because of an aggression against the electoral data transmission system. Maduro has said his re-election is a triumph of peace and stability. The president has reiterated his campaign trail assertion that Venezuela's electoral system is transparent. Y en este nuevo mandato... In this new term you've given me, in this new term you've given yourselves, I swear I'll give my whole life to carry out all the changes and transformations our country needs to head for a destiny of prosperity, of growth, of peace, of social happiness, to rescue all the rights vulnerated by the economic war and imperialist missiles. But questions over whether the results are fair have continued. Apart from Venezuelan voters, Washington has also raised serious concerns about the results being inaccurate. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has said that the result announced does not reflect the will or the votes of the Venezuelan people. Maduro has been president since the death of Hugo Chavez in 2013. His socialist PSUV party came to power a quarter of a century ago, but these polls were the biggest challenge they have faced yet. As Venezuela battles a crippling economy, voters had perpetually blamed Maduro and his policies for crashing wages and sparring hunger. Amid the economic hardship, about a quarter of the population has migrated in search of a better life. In these polls, the opposition had managed to line up behind a single candidate after years of intra-party divisions. The opposition had earlier said voters had chosen a change after 25 years of socialist party rule. It said it had reasons to celebrate and asked supporters to continue monitoring vote counts. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.